Hi, Lauren here. Yesterday I talked about the importance of the collective consciousness and how we can contribute to the collective consciousness and increase our own magnetism. That was number three in the series of 14. Today I want to talk about the miracle question. In counselling, there is a question they call the miracle question when they counsel clients. And it's the question that you ask to someone and say, if you go to sleep now and during your sleep, during your dreams, all your problems go away, how will you feel in the morning? How will you behave differently? How will you feel differently? And how does the miracle question apply to how to attract a soulmate now? Well, if we can imagine that we go to sleep one night and when we wake up we have no problems, no problems, how would we feel about that? How would those feelings affect our behaviours? How would we act differently? So there's two parts to this. How would we feel if we had no problems? And how would we feel if we already had our soulmate in our lives? Now, obviously, if we had no problems and we already have our soulmate, we would feel pretty good. And this good feeling would affect how magnetic we are. And how magnetic we are would affect others because they would feel our rays, our rays that extend out of confidence, of gratitude, of generosity. So what the miracle question is about is we need to visualise, imagine totally that we already have everything we want and behave accordingly. And those around us, young and old, from whatever, all walks of life, will find us a lot more magnetic. And they'll want to be so with us. So what would you do differently if you already had your soulmate? How would you feel differently? How would you act differently if you had no problems at all and you already had your soulmate? How would you be?